So, uh, what are you dating like an accountant now? Or... Owen. Ventriloquist? Stop it. You love a dummy. This is not why we're here. You can blame me. Try to save me. I know why we're here. A rescue op. Save the dinosaurs from an island that's about to explode. What could go wrong? Blue is alive. You raised her. <laughs> These creatures were here before us. And if we're not careful, they're gonna be here after. You know me. Life cannot be contained. Life breaks free. Life finds a way. Oh, where, oh, where has my Jeff Goldblum gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? I thought he was going to be in this movie, but alas, only for one scene. Well, it was actually two scenes, but it just happened to take place in the same spot. So it was, they, it was one scene they just cut yeah, it in half and added But they it. put it yeah. in two different spots. So, Very you know, sad, did two scenes. I wasn't really... Honestly, I thought there were way too many reminders of the originals and the last one to begin with. Um, Jeff Goldblum maybe would have made it a little bit better, oh. a little nicer. Well, he's he actually can act. <laughs> Not in that last scene that they played with him in. Looks yeah. directly at the camera. This truly is a Jurassic World. Um... Bad audience. <laughs> Not as bad as, um... Not as bad as That incredible. was a spoiler. Yeah, it is. It's the him just of the... looking at the... You said the ending of the movie. Him just looking at the camera and saying that? It, yeah, it's, it's out of unimportance. World. We already said he's in the first and the last it's scene. It's a Jurassic World. If you thought this was going to be incredibly stupid and, uh... Made by committee, then you knew it was gonna end with that. Somebody oh, yeah. saying it now it's really a Jurassic it's really world. A Jurassic world. Now it's personal. <laughs> the raptors and the and the dinosaurs have human traits. Why do they why they try to humanize it was Jurassic World. I don't know if I've said that, but Yeah. Fallen Kingdom, Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom or The um why do they try to hum humanize the, the dinosaurs? original dinosaurs? <clears throat> why are they only allowed to kill the new ones that they invent? Why do they invent dinosaurs back to back? Yeah. It's well they they start off right with the whole animal right thing. Like, you don't have to Do they have rights? Just we real need to quick. Save them. You don't have to invent dinosaurs just you know, there's probably scarier ones that exist in history that people don't really know about. Just yeah, throw there's them so many there. dinosaurs that exist, and they have to make up some bullshit. I got a lot of notes. Yeah. The uh, opening uh, opening news feed was quite just the bottom line itself. It was a, a luminary. A luminary. Huh? Did the um? Did the guy who uh, was the auctioneer? Toby Jones. Right? Toby Jones. Why did he, fun. like, why, do, you, do you feel like they were trying to make him look like Trump or anything? I got that uh, read for some reason. Uh, I don't know about With that. With the I mean, hair and he the had, teeth. Well, his, his hair is always like that. Yeah. But he had this, um, uh, he had this really weird, like, fake teeth in his mouth. Yeah. Like somebody else. We just saw a movie with somebody with fake teeth. They're weird teeth. I can't remember what, though. Death I wouldn't, of Stalin? I wouldn't be shocked if that was, like, a, you know specific choice the uh lead villain had a weird accent i couldn't really tell where yeah, he was he, from he, or what he did he for me was truly like the worst actor in the movie yeah he had this sort of lisp thing going on it's kind of yeah. for me it was kind of distracting for most it probably won't be yeah overall impression of the film me oh man wow this is uh this is an absolute piece of shit it truly is. A Were you with it at all? No, I hated pretty much the entirety of the movie. I, I, I couldn't wait for it to be over with. Me too. Honestly. It went on way too long. I, I like After this movie ended, I was like, I wanted to say, well, generally, I'm sorry. We're on the I'm island. Sorry. 
<laughs> and then we go to a mansion. Um, I'll just say, never mind, we'll save it. Yeah. We, we start off on the island and then, oh, okay, the last two-thirds of the movie are mansion. Yeah, it's just really all over the place, like, jumping around. And it's, they it's introduce good, a pseudo Dr. Hammond character. Like, for some reason, we need an old man to, uh, uh, farmer you know, from Babe? Yeah, yeah. Something Cromwell, I think his name is. Yeah. Uh, He's a good he, actor. Is he in the original? No. Park? I didn't think so. Not at all. There was so, no mention of any other doctor. It was just yeah. the old uh, David Attenborough or uh, David Attenborough's brother. I can't remember. So before we kind of uh, give, you give your broad thoughts of the Jurassic, you know, films, like where would you rank this out of like the worst list? Like, oh, it's, where are you putting um, this? You think Jurassic Park after 3? After the first one and Jur... After the first one, they're all kind of the same to me, honestly. Yeah. I, this is just a movie by committee. It's just... Oh, there it's was no love story. Now. There was no love story in the yeah. original. Um, it's, it's, it's just... It's the, the original, the plot is simple. Yeah. It's... We go to this island to see dinosaurs... May mayhem ensues. We have to get off the island. This yeah. one is it's nothing really. It's like they go to the island, lava. And, the, just the reason know. getting them to the island, it was flimsy. We spent about ten seconds. I'm not. I'm never gonna go back there. <laughs> oh, I guess he's slept on the plane last night. Yeah, we can't let them go extinct. You know, it's like what? Really? It was all very odd. Um, yeah. you knew exactly who the villains were gonna be right away. The lead, who the leader of them was, was up in the air, I'd say, a little bit. There was a man um, wearing an ascot. <laughs> and he was in the last sort of Jurassic World. Satin robes, is yeah, that what the they Asian call it? Guy. Satin robes. Yeah. Why is the Asian guy in the movies? Was he? He like, was in the last Jurassic World. I remember World. he was in the last one. He's, but the, like, he's the one who designs the new raptors. He the was not dinosaurs. good in this. Well, he wasn't a good lot in the last one. He he's actually. Uh, why do they? It's just like why do they have to? I realize I already said why. It's a movie by committee, but like why yeah. do you have to remind me of the other one so much? Like you're trying to do uh, something different. Do something different. Shit. Within the first two minutes, we see a portrait of uh, John Hammond, Richard, or David Attenborough, respectively, whatever yeah. one he is. I know what that is. That's that's they they just want to remind you. Yeah, you know. and the thing is, is like you know, they just went out of my. Like I said, like you know, with Jeff Goldblum, it's like it'd be better if you put him in the movie and had something with him. It's just like, did it, they make a big deal that he was in it? It seemed like from the marketing, it's like you know, putting him in the trailer. I'm like, oh wow, was like, he on like late night and shit? Probably. Yeah, like, he was like, oh yeah, I'm in you know the new Jurassic, and I was like, really? Oh wow, that's great. He doesn't speak with any uh, character in the film. Not even a sidekick. He doesn't speak with anybody. He speaks to us, as yeah. a matter of fact. Jeff Goldblum is our moral compass. There was a scene in the beginning, and I was thinking, are dinosaurs supposed to be Mexicans? But I can't remember why I thought that. Weird dialogue. So you thought this was a political statement? Yeah, but <laughs> it was like Jurassic World, the clone army. Somehow it became <sighs> animal rights and then transformed into... Yeah, I, I can't Weird clone stuff. I, I can't give it that much credit. I really can't. I can't. I this. It's just well, dumber it, you got to admit it kept coming up. Like they're still, they're alive. They're still creatures. We can't let them die. The the dinosaurs. Yeah, that that's it, it's just nothing. I don't think me. dinosaurs are equitable to Mexicans huh. unless they walk the earth at the same time which is impossible because Mexico was founded yeah. in around you know the 1500s it, maybe it, I would say that the one thing about this that's mind blowing is like the last movie made 1.6 billion dollars and this is the best you can do as a follow up it was like, it hit all the same beats as the original one I feel like the original the Jurassic Park not the original the, Jurassic Park the, the first last, the last well, movie the, well, which I didn't like at all I didn't like it. You didn't like it. I, I saw it. I don't remember off. having a feeling one way or the other. I was just like, I was numb in that, and I'm numb in this. It's just, hmm. it, it's it's such a fucking. Did the action do anything for you? Because no. see, here what was my spectrum going in? I wasn't really too jazzed about it. It was like, all right, yeah. The sort of some of the set pieces and action in the beginning, first, third, were pretty kind of exciting, kind of cool. 
mean the opening scene because then it's just boring for like 40 minutes and nothing happens. I mean, at, when they uh, first get to the island. Yeah, w- when the movie first opens, I was like, oh man, you know, this is this is actually kind of enjoyable. And then it's just screeching fucking halt. Here's our, you know, fucking jilted dial up to get us, you know, back to the island. And it's like, oh. God. That they, they did that in too many scenes. Chris Pratt and uh, Bryce Dallas Howard. They just in her just her, first she meets him at his barn or whatever he's building. Yeah. Then we go to a brewery. Beeraria. What do they call that brewery? in the states? A pub. A bar, Jesus. if you oh will. My God. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Then do we go right to the plane from there, or do we have another scene of them with weird, you know, uh, well, we want to oh, fuck dialogue? Yeah, he's building the house, and then they go to the the pub, and yeah, then it's she walks out, and why it's do the we plane. have to leave the barn? Yeah, why do we have to? Yeah, we have to do Well, they have to that? get that sweet, sweet product placement. What product? What beer did they place there? You mean you don't have a extreme thirst for Budweiser and Beck's beer? <laughs> um, I would rather have an extreme thirst for urine. You got any Mountain Dew handy? That'll that'll take its place. Just yeah. Fine. There's like as soon as we cut to the bar, there's a giant Budweiser sign above the pool table, and then the beer that they're drinking on the well, table is, is perfectly aligned Beck's beer. It's a big like, movie. They're gonna. They're gonna. Uh, they didn't do that in old blockbusters. You don't have to do that. It's just a choice. It's by these studios, like you said, by committee. I um, have several notes. Do you recommend this movie? Absolutely fucking not. I mean, if if you if you love these Jurassic, didn't I say the before movie, we were going? One second, didn't I say before we went in, there was going to be giggling Jurassic Park fan or something? Uh, I don't remember you saying. That. Anyways, never mind. But you you were right. You were right. There was a. Uh, I, I I I wasn't sure if she had Down syndrome or what, but you know the she, person behind me who kept yeah. kicking me fucking chair <laughs> oh, every she was two kicking minutes. Your chair every oh sorry that sucks. Every ten or twenty minutes or so, she'd that have sucks. a fit and just start kicking your chair, huh? Mm. They're definitely awful. heavy people. Yeah, they were very. I noticed that. And she was clapping when the the dinosaurs ripped people apart. She was like, yeah. <laughs> Rip it was driving me nuts at some point, but yeah. I, I just, I just, you know, I rolled with it, whatever. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. U.S. All right, here's the spoil. I would not recommend this one either. Well, before we go into spoilers, how, how do you feel about Chris Pratt in general as an actor? I feel like he's, you know, he's got an innate sort of charm or charisma to him, but this one, it wasn't, it was just too, it was all... Bad jokes, I guess, right? Yeah, I um I I like him, but I just really don't think he's an actor. I think he's a movie star, you know. He's he's the same dude in every movie. He's the same guy from Parks and Rocks for, through everything. Like there's no range to him at all, really. I don't know. Parks and Rec it was a little more I'm retarded. Yeah, but I, it's it's just a slight variation yeah, yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, I could see you I could see what your point is. And honestly, I feel like both him and Bryce Dallas Howard, like, they had, like, nothing to do in the movie, which is so weird. Like, they're in it. Even you them going them to the island, the scenes, like, why yeah. are they going to the island? You, you, you see them in the movie, and it's like, you're not even doing anything. What is going on? You know, it's very there, strange. Um, there was some, again, before we go into spoilers, there was some major uproar before the film about dallas bryce howard making two or three million less than uh chris pratt chris pratt chris pratt is you know he's a known actor he's known for big time movies yeah name name two dallas bryce howard movies in the comments or anywhere you see fit that weren't m night Shyamalan movies i want you to too yeah, I'm trying to think of any that she was in that weren't. I'm the only thing that Dallas Bryce Howard is known for is being sired by Dwight Howard, famous NBA basketball player who just got traded and agreed to a buyout today. Oh, Breaking wow. news. Wow. Can That's you name any? Any movies that she was in besides Jurassic World and M. Night the Shyamalan Water and movies. The Village? Yeah. Um, I can't do it. I know for a fact I can't do it. Drawing a blank. Anyways, that's why. I'm surprised she made only two or three million less than he did. Yeah. 
I mean, he's in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies that have made like eight hundred million dollars, and she's been nothing. So. Yeah. Not to say she's not a well, that's, fine actress. The thing is, I guess. like pay equality, like I understand, but when the main, like when Chris Pratt is the lead of the movie, like you're not the co-lead. But here's the argument: they're going to say she is the co-lead. She is the co-lead, and yeah. she is the co-lead, but she's not a. She's I mean, not a movie star. On a movie like this that has such a gigantic budget, like, why not pay him the same? Like, who gives a shit? Like, it's it's Monopoly money. The last yeah. movie made $1.6 But billion. can you at least understand why she didn't make as much as him? Yeah, like, I'm I'm totally in support. Like, like if you're a well-known actor and an Oscar winner, you know, and it's, it goes the reverse. Like, if you're an actress like Meryl Streep, right? Yeah. And you've got all these Oscars, and then there's another actor, you know, who's the co-lead with her... Why should they make the same amount of money as Meryl Streep? Yeah. She's a fucking, like, three-time Oscar winner. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and she's the yeah. lead of the movie? Yeah. Like, and you're, a, like, a no-name, but you are the co-lead? Why Why should you make the same amount as her? It should exactly. be all based on star power and, and... It's... Well, that's the thing about acting. It's about yeah. what you're worth. Yeah, it's not, like... It's not like, oh, hey, you know, you're working at Walmart... And I'm working at Walmart, and I'm a female, and you're a male, and yeah. we're making different amounts of money when we have the same position. Yeah, that's wrong. Of course it is. You know. Indiana Pratt. They uh, mimicked the scene when he's running away from the volcano fire. It was <laughs> nuts. It, I'm like, are you guys just going to blatantly rip it off? Who directed this? It wasn't the same dude, guys last dude, time, right? Dude. Steven Spielberg is the executive producer of all this. Like, are you really shocked that there's, there's these nods to Spielberg and he directed Park? I, yeah, but Come didn't on, they man. get it out of their system last movie? I mean, listen, I agree with you. It's hackney. It's terrible. Um, it, it's it's just garbage. And I don't did you did you get that joke about Dwight Howard? Her dad's really Ron Howard, I think. Oh, Bryce Dallas Howard. Yeah. Do you get it? Yeah. Dwight Howard's a big black dude. I thought I when you said Dwight Howard, I was I was thinking of his cousin. Is no, that I, was, his name? I was thinking of Dwight from The Office for some uh, reason. Is um, what's the name of Ron Howard's brother? He was in movies. Clint Howard. Clint. Okay, good. I got worried <laughs> as I thought of that joke that um his name was Dwight. Maybe. No. No. Our Mexican yeah. dinosaurs. Nobody cares about that. Yeah. Why am I here, Franklin? She introduces him. This is Franklin West. Most likely to die. That was my first thought. And God, it didn't happen. They don't, this movie's got no balls. Spoiler section now. <laughs> Recommendation. Not approved. Yeah. No. I wanted the dude, not the entire time, but definitely at the beginning, I wanted him to die immediately. Who? The main villain? No, the mixed guy. He uh, had glasses. Oh! See, I had the opposite reaction. I wanted the girl... With uh, the Well, the she didn't have much time. I didn't like her. With, I uh, hated her. I learned to hate her much more throughout the film, but she oh, wasn't I, in enough of I, it. I hated her glasses. I hated her shitty tribal fucking tattoos. I hated her acting. Oh, I hated, I hated her hair. I hated everything about her. I just wanted her head to get ripped off by a velociraptor. Uh, sadly, Only nameless henchmen. Happen. Only nameless henchmen get yeah, murdered. Yeah. And the bad guy. You're like right. The movie has no balls. It's, it's not everything happen. else I could call. I can't think of specifics now because there was so much stuff where it's like, I don't know. It's like, oh yeah, right at, towards the end when, uh, yeah. what's the name? Indama Raptor. Wasn't the Indominus Rex already like a third Velociraptor? Yeah, it was like it was stealthy and I could like. Blend so it. now it's two thirds Velociraptor. One third uh, T Rex is that what they mixed them together with? Something like that. And it was so funny when they first showed off. <laughs> Why do you do it again? Yeah, Why do you clone well, do the clone no dinosaur they, again? They have no ideas that the, the, the screeners are hacks. But it was so funny to me. When he they... needs a mother. The whole reason for needing the Velociraptor was fucking laughable. Yeah, I know, but it was so funny when they show off this big bad dinosaur. And <laughs> the whole time I'm watching this, I'm like, wait, you're going to make this dinosaur so somebody can hold a gun with a laser sight on it and point it towards the enemy. <laughs> so a fucking dinosaur can then rip that enemy apart. You couldn't just fucking shoot them or fucking do a drone strike. You got to make a, a yeah. dinosaur that follows a red dot sight. That motherfucker, that motherfucker, he jaywalked. <laughs> 
He had it coming. <laughs> the person who was like holding the gun at you with the laser eyesight, you could just shoot that person before they, before the fucking. Or the person with a gun with a laser sight could just shoot the person. <laughs> exactly. It's hilarious. That was inc- that's stupid incredibly. Is. There was a lot in this that was incredibly <laughs> stupid. How it became clone rights all of a sudden. I, I will say that we we cannot recommend this movie on just being stupid. It's not funny enough to to see it just based on being stupid. Did any of the humor land for you? You liked I the mix it. kid in the beginning. No, he was fine. I wasn't. I was laughing at him, but I didn't. Bother. He I didn't thought bother he was going to be super annoying throughout. So in the beginning, I'm like, oh god, just get it over with. They're setting it up for him <laughs> to either be killed or be annoying throughout. Uh, besides, he was better the rest of the way yeah and he's not in it that much yeah he, nor is the other lady no, um which i was worried about i thought bryce it's mostly <sighs> the bryce dallas howard little clone girl and um oh, God. chris pratt show oh, can we get oh yeah and the old man can, can we get into little clone girl and how fucking terrible she is and the screaming her man, constant right. screaming oh and and just uh, her dialogue with at the end when she hits the button and she goes they're alive like me <laughs> that's exactly what i mean like it went so hard at first it, it came up earlier i can't remember specifically where clone rights or it's we are right. clones yeah it's like is this like and then that happened i'm like are we did did they make this movie 20 years in the future and then send it yeah. back or something what's yeah. the deal there they're, are clones they're way they don't exist the, yeah they're uh they're way ahead of the times you know they're they're progressive what uh, <laughs> did the big fish? The big fish was in the beginning. That was part of the big first action sequence. Yeah, parts. I wanted to say megalodon. But I don't think that's right. <laughs> no, that's a extinct shark. Yeah, it's I, whatever think, the big fish from I'm the so, last I'm Jurassic World. So excited World. for that Jason Statham movie. I can't contain myself. Oh my god! <laughs> Just the thought of it. I had respect for megalodon. I had respect for creatures of the deep. <laughs> I loved giant squid documentaries when I was a kid. Yeah, twenty thousand leagues on the sea is enjoyable. I saw it once on TV when I was a kid. I can't remember much about it. But I yeah. do remember the giant just, squid just attack. Just concept. It's really cool. Jules Verne. Yeah. The, um, did you know that Doc Brown names his kids Jules Verne or something? Oh, I didn't know. Did you know that David Fincher was going to do a 20,000 Lakes on a Sea movie? Should have done it. Yeah, they. Uh, he wanted to do it authentic like the book and have French actors in it. And uh, oh. Disney was like, yeah, go fuck yourself. I would have as well. <laughs> I get it, you're going for authenticity, but unless they're speaking French, it's bullshit. Well, I think maybe that's what he wanted to do. No, then get a fucking French studio to back it, motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, listen, Fincher doing that would have been very interesting. Yeah. And now it's, like, never going to get made. Did he um, plan on putting any um, Indamo, Indamo, <laughs> whatever the fuck it was? Oh, yeah, let's uh, <laughs> let's go into the in the beginning. Right when it cuts from the first action scene, there's this news story about, you know, the dinosaurs. They're about to die. What are we going to do about them? There was um, some of the craziest crawls I've ever seen in my life. We had president questions of dinosaurs in the first place. Unprecedented earth warming 1,000% up. Uh-huh. And that's all I got. Like, it was nuts. Yeah. The president appeared in the news feed at the beginning. He probably said something stupid. Right. I can't remember. Yeah. Um, anything else? What are we talking about? We're talking about dinosaurs. We're talking about <laughs> talking velociraptors. About We're talking about AIDS. <laughs> you got me back on point. I forgot where I was going with it. <laughs> it's, uh... Our gambit backfired. We decided to see the movie at ten. There'll be less people. People. Well, I, I mean, I know, just said that like a like I'm a Chinese man. Bieber. People. Are, that I'll tell you what. I guarantee you that seven o'clock show would have been worse. Yeah, a lot more yeah, kids. But yeah. this was um, more terrible people. Yeah, yeah a lot of people stupid. just chitting and chatting, commenting I, the whole I, fucking time. I think, yeah, and that was another case of where I couldn't do anything. I mean, I did uh, confront the Asian man on his phone. There's an Asian dude on his phone. Yeah, didn't you see me grab his seat and shake it and tell him to get off his phone? I didn't uh, see it anymore. I just thought he was talking or something. I no, didn't see what was no, going I on. No, I did that, and then his like Chinese Was it a dude? Oh, okay. No, I, no, it, it was a dude, and then his girlfriend started going, I am going to go at me. And I was like, okay, whatever. Like, I don't know any Asian um, Asian vulgarities. All I know to say is thanks <laughs> <in> Chinese. <laughs> 
<laughs> I should remember what he said from Deer Hunter, but I'm having a hard time right now. Bing bong bow! Bing bong bow! <laughs> Something like that. It is that cadence, but it's not that. Bing bong bow! Bing bong bing 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 bong bong bong! The um, Asian doctor, B.D. We love Wong, Asian people, by the way. We B. love Asian Wong filmmaking. B.D. was awful. <laughs> he was terrible. Who? B.D. Wong, the uh, head Chinese Asian, you know, scientist. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's... He what was, don't why don't we go over his plan real quick? <sighs> well, so he invents this new Indomo <laughs> raptor. Two-thirds raptor, one-third yeah. T-Rex, whatever the other Indominus Rex was. Yeah. And for some reason, they can't really train it, even though they already trained it to attack somebody based on that sound and the light, maybe. And so they want to get the blue one back. But in order to get the blue raptor, who was Chris Pratt's, who they call blue, in order to get that one back, first, they need the lady, Bryce Dallas Howard. What's her name? Can you tell me your name in the movie? Wow. I can't. God, God help me. I can't think of it. I can't think I, of Chris Pratt's either. I, I don't honestly, any of that information in these movies. But they need her. She's trying to save the dinos. Yeah. You know what they do? They convince her. We're going to get all the dinosaurs off the island. It's going to be okie dokie artichokey. Yeah. Obviously, from the jump, we know that's a lie. We know that's not going to happen. In the first uh, action sequence. There's a man dangling on the helicopter who just narrowly escaped a T-Rex. He then, from below the water, is attacked by that giant, you know, fish dinosaur thing yeah. that had nothing to do with what we were just talking about. But, they, it was but I just remembered one. it. Yeah. It was? Yeah. I remember him and eating giant, something. Yeah, it was like the... The fucking babysitter Didn't it eat girl. The Indominus that, Rex. <laughs> the babysitter girl who like gets taken by a pterodactyl and thrown in the air. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyways, Bryce Dallas Howard. They get here. We're gonna save them. We're gonna conserve them. Just one thing. We need. We need Chris. We're gonna need Chris for this operation. All right, honey. Yeah. Go shake those buns his way. <laughs> that was. I mean that with no disrespect, but that was her. That's how she did it to try to convince yeah. him. Right. She strolls up. He says something dumb. She, like, giggles, and then they go to the bar. She's giggling. That was so bad, that dialogue, when she's talking about, like, oh, you think you broke up with me? Oh, my God. They kept saying the same thing. It was very repetitive. Because you – because I left because you said I'm not going to live in a van by by the side of the road. (laughs) Excuse me? I made you leave because you said you wanted to live by the van on the side of the road. No. I left. And went and left, lived on the van by the side of the road. Well, you can live on your van by the side of the road, Chris Pratt. Jesus, man, get the fuck on with it. What do we do? Why are we even here? Can I ask you something? How much of this movie do you think they just completely improved as far as dialogue? Do you, do you honestly think they stuck to the script? Because it, it just feels like they were just saying random shit. I, I feel like it was written. Uh, you know, honest. I feel like this was just, like I said, a fucking production meeting movie by committee. Like, I, just... <sighs> That, that scene oh, retarded, just right. incredibly easy stuff to follow. We'll throw in the cutesy little baby rhino yeah. here, rhino, triceratops here. That's a good point because these movies have <laughs> to be marketed internationally. We made one so, point, five, it's got to be simple. Yeah, it's people tell who a real don't simple, speak English yeah. have to understand this. Yeah. So it has to be as stupid as possible for like everyone. Well, I don't to get. know about that. I love, oh, I, I do. I mean, these, I love Crouching Tiger. It's not really yeah, that but Crouching Tiger didn't make anywhere close to fucking one point six billion dollars. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking you know I mean? twenty years ago. Yeah, two thousand. You're talking. Yeah. Crazy days are yeah. here again. Yeah, this is um, it's awful. Do you wanna? Yeah, anything else to say? Or you wanna do final ratings? Much of my other notes are incomprehensible. <laughs> the um, what kind of candy did you have today? Uh, it was Lifesavers gummies, and it was like uh, a mix of flavors. And, not bad. Yeah, they were not okay. bad. They were okay. I, I probably wouldn't get There that. was a preview before the film. <laughs> U.S. Army chaplain exercising demons and converting heathens. That's all I have to say on the matter. They seriously spent, put a movie about Christian, you know, sort of fundamentalist Christianity why, why, why are you in a movie that? about dinosaurs. Because it's 
in opposition to their entire belief system. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but they... It's just, it, I realize they have to grab as much eyes as possible, but does right, anybody but, sit back and really think about these right, things? Right, but do you think people that are, you know, super, you know... Strict yeah, Christians yeah, yeah. aren't going to go see a Jurassic Park movie. They're going to be like, Ugh, a dinosaur movie. You know, like, they're going to go see it. Well, that or it's just, you know, it's the big movie. That's why yeah, I feel like there's so many they, people they here tonight at for time. advertising just because this is a huge movie. So. Yeah. It, it was very weird. Mind, though. It, it felt awkward between the trailers that we got, I will, I will say. I it was in between, like, I don't want to remember any of the trailers, but big budget trailers, I would say. Yeah. What, what were the trailers? Mission Impossible. Oh, of course. Obviously. Yeah. Mission Impossible. We had Big Foot, Little Foot, oh, yeah. whatever small it was foot. called. It was small foot. The mixed kid, what was his name, Franklin? He said, Why am I here? And my thought was, My thoughts exactly, Franklin. Uh, uh, but that was in the beginning. He's not bad throughout, like uh, I said. The, um, one more thing about the Ascot guy, Lockwood. <laughs> they say that he was with him, blah, 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 blah. And. Oh, I got something I gotta bring up. They are talking, he's talking about, like, we had this dream to let these animals be free. Which is why you guys immediately opened up a zoo for them. Amusement park zoo to uh, imprison them in. Um, uh, Buffalo Bill's in the movie. <laughs> the oh, yeah. and, uh, Not enough, honestly. No, Not enough. One thing I have to add, which illustrates how shitty our audience was as soon as we see him uh the people next to me this mother and daughter uh, mother no mother and son they were who, talking the whole time yeah, i felt for, like yeah I, I mean they they seemed probably incestuous uh they were very very close I, to each other i watched true detective yeah i finished and, uh, it today the, as soon as we see uh i think i don't know is it ted levine is that his i name? think I it's that's remember. name just refer to him as buffalo bill yeah buffalo bill that's the as, universal as call as, sign <laughs> yeah i'd fuck me <laughs> would, would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. I'd fuck, I'd fuck me hard. <laughs> and uh, as soon as he shows up on the scene, the the kid goes uh, to his mother, and he's he's not really a kid; he's older. He goes, "Hey, it's Kevin Costner." <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> it's just like, wow, this is the people we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. And his mother goes, "Oh, wow, really?" <laughs> well, I thought the chaplain was Johnny Depp for a quick second. <laughs> In the trailer, uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The army chaplain. That's going to stretch. That's really going to be a well-paced hour and a half, two-hour film, I bet. Oh, uh, yeah. What else do you got for me? Uh, Dinosaurs. I, I really don't have much. It's just, it's, it's a it's a miserable piece of shit. You know, the, the clone girl in the house. It, it just, like, it didn't even feel like a big-budget movie in a lot of ways. Like, yeah, there's the facts, but it's like, they get so small. Why did that. we, why did they have, why did the main villain have all the dinosaurs and the entire transaction take place in the guy's mansion? <laughs> right, in his mansion. And did it? Well, he was there, yeah. I might add. And I have to ask you, like, about how much money these people are spending on the, the dinosaurs. Did it seem low to you? It's like, dude, this That's is what fucking, I was going to say. I was thinking of it when it was dinosaur. happening. Yeah. Dude, you're spending $15 million you on can a get, fucking dinosaur? You can get a fighter jet for <laughs> $11 to $20 million, I bet. This is a fucking No, dinosaur. like $90 million. You can get a dinosaur. You, you can't get a dinosaur for $20 million. <laughs> You can, you can get a fucking fighter jet like, for 90. It's so funny. The first dinosaur they show is this is a one of a kind tank like dinosaur. 15 million. I thought, why would they even get that one? What sort of military or. It's not exciting to uh, own. If, I, if you're going to own a dinosaur, which one would you own? I'd own Velociraptors probably. They're small enough. I can keep them in a pen. I can feed my enemies to them. I'd want one that eats plants and wouldn't kill me. <laughs> well, even the ones that eat plants can fucking whip their tail. There's a lot of tail-based. Okay, so I'd get, get one out that was of smaller that was very gentle, and very kind. Are there were there <laughs> too many tail-related get out of get out of dodge situations? Save the day with my tail well, situations. It, 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 that ties into the death of Buffalo Bill, where our audience member behind us. Oh says, my god! Holy shit! He's smart. <laughs> the dinosaur smiled and he, winked he and... ted levine if that's his name i'm sorry buffalo bill yeah, I, buffalo you've got me all crossed up i keep trying to forget what i'm trying to say thanks a lot asshole but anyways he uh tranks he for some reason he want, really wants the tooth of that dinosaur tranks it and i guess he didn't give enough trank dinosaurs laying down 
He's going to grab his tooth because he wants to make a dinosaur tooth necklace real bad. It's set up, but not really importantly. It is Ted Levine. Thank you very much. So he goes to grab tooth. The tail starts moving. We're close on the dinosaur's face and his face. Tail goes up. He notices out of his periphery. Oh, <gasps> what's that? He looks at the tail. Tail's down. The face. He winks, starts smiling at the camera. <laughs> They humanize the villain dinosaur even as well. <laughs> well, and I have to ask you, like, when Ted Levine shoots the raptor, he shoots it like three times. I, at that point, I would empty my whole fucking clip into that thing before I walked in the cage. That's the same thing. Yeah. It's like, even when Chris Pratt shoots it, I'm like, dude, why aren't you shooting more? And then, of course, his gun doesn't work anymore. It's just like, it's. Well, I would have just, I would have just seen the chaos going down around me. I would have just yeah. gone to get my money and then dipped. Yeah. I have enough dinosaur teeth for my necklace problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. That that whole idea of him like, taking tooths as souvenirs, like that, that's interesting, but it's not really expanded upon. They don't do anything. They just character. show it once, and then it's... He's not in the movie, really, at all. No. He's even when, he's not. He's like an unseen threat for most of it, oh, even. And when he first does it, I'm like, oh, is he helping the dinosaur? Does it have a bad tooth? Because it's like all worried and he nah. takes it I immediately thought that the first time I was like oh it's got I, a problem with his tooth I figured he was taking it as a souvenir I didn't get that the entire first. time, the I, time I did, but. did you read him as bad guy the entire time as soon as he showed up I'm like alright military the weird auction for dinosaurs well, yeah, there, it was oddly okay. pale let's say it was random to me it felt yeah. very random I was it was like, this is so bizarre that's where I feel like they're trying to make some kind of a statement or something like a sex trafficking kind of thing? Yeah, or something. I don't know. Might be like Taken. Yeah, how we Yeah, I know. But how weird is it Taken 10 years ago? It was all like Saudis and shit. Now it's all yeah. Slovenians and mm. Russians and shit. Yeah. Weird how our... Um, and always military are the bad guys, I yeah. feel like. In this movie, they were not in it. So it has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. Yeah. You want to... um. Delve into your final rating. Dive deep there. Uh, yeah. Um, I think it's a piece of shit. I don't think it's worth your time. It's, uh, I'd give it, honestly, I thought about giving it a four, but I can't. It's, it's a three. It's, it's, it's just terrible. It's bad, bad writing, uh, bad acting, bad story, bad action, bad CG in a lot of places. Laughable CG with the lava, in my opinion. Why and, was uh, there a predator, an alien moment with the Indo... I keep forgetting his name, Indomo, Indominus Raptor. It was really odd. Oh, you mean when it was like with the little the claws, claws. Girl was clawing the yeah. aliens? Yeah. When it was climbing through the window and it's like looking down, uh, through it upside uh, down. More, more aliens reminded me of when <laughs> the space marines are down in the thing, but. Well, yeah, uh, but I mean, it just reminded me of the creature. Let's yeah, say. well, it was probably a nod. Yeah, I'd uh, I'd give it a three out of ten. I, I think it's a terrible film. I am um, really awful. I'm gonna go with a four. The biggest issue, I think, fundamentally with this film is, why do we go to the island and then go back to a mansion? Spend the second half of the movie in a, a mansion. Why is um the villain's plan so idiotic? And why is Dr. B.D. Wong of Law & Order SVU fame's plan so idiotic and his acting so bad? Do you think Chris Pratt, you said he did a bad job? I, Not uh, a bad job, but you... He, he just he had nothing to do. It highlights his, your... It yeah. highlights his... um Generic dude. Yeah, there you go. Generic no, that's, dude, That's man. what you're going for. Um, I liked... When they first... When they were on the island, I was having an okay time. It was There was action-packed. <laughs> we're rolling in the ball. We're getting yeah. chased by dinosaurs. The first scene was the highlight for me. That was about it. Jokes were bad. Yeah. Just an all-around, not a good movie, just a dumbed down. What did I say before? Some bullshit buzz phrase I heard somewhere else, probably. Yeah, four quadrant fucking slop soup put in your face. By committee. Yeah. Just film by committee. Mm. Unfortunate. There's only, I was going to go into recommendations, but there is only yeah. one logical recommendation for this film. Jurassic Park. The, well, original, the original Jurassic Park. There you go. Yeah. That's it. 
Um, I never answered your question. After the first movie, they have no rankings for them. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. all well, basically yeah, we, we could do our, shitty for me. We could kind of do our rankings, I guess. Of I don't... Music. No, that's what I'm saying. I don't have a ranking. There's the first one, and then I'd, uh, there's the rest of them. I'd go... I'd go Jurassic Park 1, Lost World 2, then... The one with Taya Leone? <sighs> honestly, H. H. honestly, I'd have to go Jurassic Park 3... And then Jurassic World, and then this one. I think this I, is um, the worst. I, it's literally in order of how they came out. <laughs> since we're doing it, it's just like Die Hard, right? They keep getting worse as they go. Yeah. Well, honestly, I actually liked a Good Day to Die Hard better than Live for Your Die Hard. Live for Your Die Hard, I wanted to slip my wrists. I, it's just Justin Long and the PG-13. I only watched the Justin Long one. I didn't yeah. watch the next one. My ranking would be Jurassic Park 1, Lost World then Jurassic World, oh. then the third one, then this one. Yeah. I, Tay Leone and William H. Macy and the kid in the backstabby guy who I've never seen in any other movies since. Just right. like the villain in this one, probably. Yeah, and I will say, I have not seen Jurassic Park 3 in a very, very long time. So, if I, I just to rewatch it. I remember the bad parts more than the yeah. good. If I remember there are Sam Neill being in it. Also the, CGI, also, the CGI yeah. is way, way yeah. worse. Well, that's why the first one holds up. There's just basically almost all animatronics. Mm. You know, so, yeah. Well, I, um, I want to say that the one girl behind me was surprised that the old man was dead after we had the pillow scene. He's oh, dead. Did, did you the hear? little girls at the window. Oh, yeah. He's dead. Did you hear her when she said, she says, I, I just, I have a feeling about that little girl that she's going to save everything. She's I didn't gonna, hear her say that. Hear oh, her yeah, say I that. did hear her say that. <laughs> she's like, I just got a feeling that she's going to save she the She was right on the money. Oh, yeah, she, she was a prophet. It. She was a fucking prophet. See, I thought I was calling things in this movie, <laughs> like the big water monster eating that guy. This girl called the whole na- the oh, whole shebang, god. baby. The people next to us are saying, "Oh my god, it's so tense. The tension." Uh, I was I yawned maybe thirty times throughout this movie. I was bored out of my fucking mind. And this is a movie filled with dinosaurs. I was I got bored after we got to the mansion. That's when it really set in. And I'm like, yeah. all right, let's just well, get it over my with. My ass fell asleep halfway through, and that didn't help. Eek. Yeah, I was never struggling. a good sign. I was like shifting. I'm like, oh man, this is brutal. So next up on Rudy Land's movie talking, <laughs> the Army U.S. Army chaplain, whatever that's called. Okay. Strap in and bring your King James Bibles <laughs> or your Necronomicons. 